I will endeavor to keep this video as short as possible. The whole point of this test today is to see if I can eliminate soot forming on the cookware by adding water to the alcohol, whether it be 10% or 20%, or whether it's really worth it or not. Between each test, I'm using a sanding disc on a five inch grinder to get this perfectly clean. And so we've got the same surface each time. So I'll pour that right in there. That's lit. I'll start the timer. Eight minutes and 55 seconds is the total runtime. This is all pre mixed. Let's get it to the 30 mil. So I'm just pouring in the 10% water, 90% alcohol. Put my freshly clean saucepan. The temperature is equalized, dealing with all the same temperature to start with. Oh yes, it's a light now. Okay, it's gone out there at 10.40. 10 minutes and 45 seconds. That's from the match that was left in there initially. So this is 10% water, 90% alcohol. You make up your mind whether it makes a difference with soot. Long term could be of any indication. There is it. 20% water, 80% alcohol. This is pre-mixed. Once again, I'll funnel it into here so we don't spill any. Okay, it has lit. I'll start the timer. One cup of water on the top, and we'll see how we go. It's still burning. We've gone nearly one minute longer than the 10% water, 90% alcohol. At 11 minutes and 45 seconds, and it's out there. 20% water, 80% alcohol by volume. Difference to the other two, there's no match burns on this one because we lit it before we put it onto the actual. I got this last test. I'm gonna fill the burner to the very top with a methylated spirits, pure or I'm gonna put it right to the top just until it reaches a lip. Which is just under 60 mils. It's a light, Let's start the timer. About 10 minutes boil time, two cups of water, 100% alcohol. You can see that the pot is on a slight angle because the heat from the burners transferred to the Tom Shu pot that it's sitting on and it started to buckle a little bit. But yep, that's out at about 17 minutes. Okay, this is, this is at a run time of 17 minutes, 100% alcohol, roughly 60 mils in the burner. And you can see the discoloration from the heat. But I've got a clean paper towel here and I'm just gonna wipe it over and see if we can get any soot. See, there's a slight soot marks from where my fingers have pressed onto the pot. So I'm going to try again a bit harder. I don't know if you can see that here. You can see the soot marks. So we'll do the same. We'll do the same with 10% water, 90% alcohol, and see if we get any soot on that. 10% water, 90% alcohol, at just under 60 mils, two cups of water. Not sure if it's obvious, but the more you put in these burners, the longer it takes to bloom. Four minutes longer than the 100% alcohol, and the flame is coming to an end. It will, do, it will extinguish itself soon. You can see it's just, usually when it gets really, really low, it's like it's death struggle. It flares up and flickers back. 
It's like a lawnmower running out of fuel when it's effectively on its last breaths of vapour. 21 minutes and 50 seconds. 10 mils of water to 90% alcohol and had a run time of 21 minutes. So I've got a clean paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it over and see if there's any actual soot on it. This is the 100% alcohol at runtime of 17 minutes. And then over here, we've got the 10% water runtime of 21 minutes. And if you put the two together, you can definitely see that the blacks, there's black soot here. There's no real, there's a little bit of soot there. My opinion is that diluting the alcohol with water doesn't really make any noticeable difference in soot reduction. If you did want a longer cooking times and less heat output, if you were doing uh, like a slow cook or a simmer or something along those lines, you know, it, you could add water to the alcohol. But when you do add the water to the alcohol, you're gonna be very quite precise with your measurements. Unless you're mixing a litre batch up at a time, uh, you've got to be pretty